form on my Mac Pro using brew. So we're going to see what we end up having here. So we're going to go brew, typo, brew, tab, hashy, hashy, corp, corp, tab. So we want to make sure that we've got all the things that we're looking for. Um, and then we want to go ahead and make sure that once we've got that whole update process going, and again, the network I'm on is like really super pokey. So this may take like a lot of time. It may not. I don't know. It's kind of one of those like go figure kind of things that you're not really sure what you got cooking some days. And you would really like things to work better. And I'm going to make a whole bunch of noise with the chair and I'm going to do everything that's bad for making a thing. Okay. Now, if I did this right, we should be able to go brew install HashiCorp. HashiCorp, tab, Terraform. Now, if I did this right, that's brew, install, HashiCorp, tab, Terraform. Okay, so if we did it right, and then see where that kind of goes. Ah, oh, it's going. It's actually working, which is nice. Okay, so we got this going. I'm just going to gonna go kind of slow, kind of slow and pokey. If it bails out, we can always reinstall it later. But I do kind of want to make sure you guys know that this is actually doable. Um, and then we can kind of go from there and kind of see what we got cooking. So again, hotel network, kind of slow. But the cool part is that, you know, you're actually getting some kind of feedback. So you can actually see what's going on here and how long this is going to take. So, so far we did that whole tap homebrew. Thing. And we got that going, brew, tap, HashiCorp, tap, and then we did the tapping, HashiCorp, tap, and it did its whole thing to install, to update, and everything else. And we did brew, install, HashiCorp, tap, Terraform. And again, this will take a minute um, just to kind of go through and do its thing, but I'm okay with that. It can take time. And it's probably like super teeny tiny on that, isn't it? <laughs> but <laughs> I'm only going to do this once. So... Then we're going to go ahead and then we'll upgrade it and then we'll just go ahead and we'll verify the install after this but we need to do some other things along the way so according to the instructions um, it's actually going to be update and then make sure that what we've got along the way is what we need so while we're waiting for it to install this is actually going pretty pretty not too too slow on this network so i'm pretty happy about that um, i can live with that it's all good Let's just go ahead and wait and see what we got cooking here. Oh, wow, man, how many bottles of water have I got going? So you can obviously tell I'm kind of a little bit absent-minded today. <laughs> hmm. All right, as we wait for it, we're at 50%. Yes. Networks are just never fast enough for me. If you ever not notice that, you get kind of spoiled about the network you have. And then when you get onto a slow poker network, you're just like, oh, no, no, I want my big, fast, fat, happy network from home. Oh, man. So I'm like doing all the bad video things. I'm making noise in the background. I'm playing with the chair. <laughs> I'm just talking to hear myself talk because I'm waiting on the network and everything's super slow. It's going to be even more interesting when we get everybody trying up and running on this one to try to get it to go. Um, but again, kind of want to make sure what we got here. Oh, man, dude. I'm hoping that the updates aren't going to be super huge. But if we make it go, we make it go. And that's the important part, is making sure that all this stuff installs and all this stuff installs well. Um, and that you actually have it. Because you're going to need it for the belt exam. Well, you need it for week four, and you need it for the belt exam. So, not going to argue that. It's all good. All right. 84%, 85. Oh, man, almost done. Waiting on it. Hey, at least it's going. Uh, there have been a few points here on the hotel network. It's been like down to like 12K. And it's like horrible. I had better dial-up speeds in the 90s. <laughs> All right, 94, 95, almost done. It's 
So if it bailed out, I would have just gone ahead and, and done this. All right, we're done. All right, so we've got that. Then we want to do brew update. I'm serious, homebrew is just ending up being like the nicest thing I have ever used in my entire life to kind of see how this goes. Okay, we're good. All right, so I'm good with that. Uh, you know, I'm going to leave that because I don't really want to upgrade right now just because, well, let's do it. Brew upgrade just because I'm seeing it. Just one outdated formula shouldn't be that much. I'm going to hope that it shouldn't be that much. Oh, it's updating my <laughs> AWS SAM CLI. Oh, that's awesome. Um, that's actually pretty cool. So I'll take that. Um, I use a lot of, of command line interface from AWS right now, and I actually am really beginning to like it a lot. So um, I'll take the update. I will absolutely take that update and be okay with that. Uh, it's actually kind of nice. Um, so this is just like an extra added bonus that you didn't expect. Now the cool part though is Homebrew is taking care of all my, my installation for me, and I actually appreciate that. So kind of a side benefit here when you're looking at stuff along the way is to make sure of you know all your packages are up to date when it comes to this just because some of it may be a security thing and again even though it's super slow for not a big big pile of software it's still going to be something to, that you want to make sure you do here and then once we've got that whole thing updated we'll go ahead we'll update terraform and then we'll go ahead and we'll make sure that terraform actually works so hopefully everyone's got homebrew installed. You should all have it. If you sat through my, my um, AWS CLI portion of this, you definitely have homebrew in installed if you're on an Apple. So these are all good things to have for you to do. Even if the hotel network is super slow. We'll just kind of hang out for a minute while we wait for this thing to go. But uh, you know, at least the good part is it kind of gives you the little countdown thing. And that's one of the things I love about good UI is it kind of tells you what it's doing. So instead of just giving you like some screen you don't know what it's up to, this one is at least telling you what it's trying to do and giving you some some updates and some percentages of updating and little lines that are moving and other stuff. So that's just generally good UI. And I actually really appreciate that because it kind of gives me an ability to go, okay, I'm going to wait for it. I'm not going to try to, to kill this install or anything else. Hmm. Seventy six percent. Give it some time. I think an IT patience is the hardest thing because you're like sitting there like watching this little counter go and you're watching your little dots move and you're like, come on. But this, <laughs> I want to go run around the building eight or nine times. done here with that and again I'm going to be kind of okay with having my AWS CLI updated I'm not gonna sweat that one too much it's gonna to be kind of nice that they actually have this update going okay that's done okay got that got that all right it's doing that whole upgrade pip thing I'm okay with that See, now this is bad UI, is that it looks like it's kind of stuck here on my p upgrade pip. I didn't really want that to go, but I guess it's part of the AWS SAM CLI. So good, good UI was the little line and the little numbers, and then bad UI is not having that at all and having to sit here and like, oh, are you moving? So at least it's doing a thing. Kind of run it off screen. This means everybody in the classroom is going to be doing the same thing. 
So if you don't want to upgrade Sam, you don't have to, but I would recommend it. Wow. Say bad UI. Bad UI means I don't know what it's doing and I'm gonna sit here and start getting even more impatient. At least the good part is by you guys seeing this, you can kind of see that it's going to take a minute to f do all the things that you've got cooking here. And again, we're just going to trust that it's running and doing its stuff because we have bad user experience here on this one. Because we don't know what it's doing. And I just want to install Terraform. I probably should have just installed Terraform. But hey, outdated packages are just a thing. and They're always going to kill me. I'm always going to want to update them. Hmm. Okay, bad UI. Well, I'll restart this video when we get going and then I'll edit it out and you guys can see what we got cooking here. I have no idea how long this is gonna take and there's no sense in just wasting time on the video. So I will splice it together. See you when this we thing's done. Go ahead and we wanna make sure that our Terraform is good to go, but we do wanna make sure that we have upgrades. So brew upgrade, upgrade, HashiCorp. Terraform. See, so we got, hopefully, I got the latest version and we'll be good to go. We're going to run an auto update. Let's see, what we got, uh, let's hope I got the latest version. Okay. All right, we're good to go. Okay, now if this worked, I should be able to go Terraform minus help and get a bunch of stuff. And that means it's installed. It's good to go. Yes. All right. That's how you install Terraform on a MacBook using Homebrew. It works. Okay. Your turn. Go do it. Have fun. Let me know how it went. It took like about another 10 minutes to upgrade the AWS CLI. But if you do have a network dropout in the middle of it, yeah, just it just will restart. Just go ahead and restart it or just skip it. You will need to have a working AWS CLI here next week. So... Make sure you've got it working. All right, that's it. Thanks for sitting through the video.